five, four, three, two. Greetings from the Wandering Blonde Wino. As you can see, we've got a little leprechaun here. This is Seamus, my brother. Be helping out. Wine to you. Tonight we thought it would be fun to do a St. Patrick's Day themed wine tasting review. Um, as you can see, we have a bottle of wine here and a glass, per usual. Um, tonight we have a great Chardonnay. It's Murphy Good. It's from Sonoma County. This wine has, this vineyard's been around for about 25 years. It was started by two friends, uh, Tim Murphy and Dale Good, hence Murphy Good. Um, the reason I really like this wine is that it, it exhibits some really interesting flavors that are, like, they're layered flavors and they just, they come out as the wine gets warmer and the more you sip it, it's really, really interesting. Um, let's give it a try. Let's see here. Um, it's got a 13.5 alcohol content, which uh, makes the legs, the higher the alcohol content, the thicker the legs are, which are the drippings on the side of the glass when you swirl it. This has some very persistent legs. Uh, you can't see that, but they actually are very persistent coating the side of the glass. Let's see what the aroma is here. This has a really interesting aroma that might be weird to some people, but this is a baked apple kind of aroma, which is actually very pleasant. It's not overpowering and it's not weird. It's, it's actually really nice. Let's see the flavor. This is a really pleasant one. The first initial sip is vanilla and nutmeg, and then the, in the finish there's a nice crisp pear flavor, which is really, really pleasant. It's got a very long finish. As I said, it's a medium-bodied Chardonnay. Just, you know, as it warms, it's a little bit more crisp when it's cold than it, when it warms up. It's, it's got that nice, pleasant vanilla and spice flavor followed by the nice, crisp pear uh, aftertaste, which is great. Um, this wine goes for about $13 in Montgomery County Liquor Stores. It's a great price for a great Chardonnay from Sonoma that, that's County. That's affordable with a pot of gold here, so. Seamus knows what he's talking about. Yeah. Um, now you may be thinking, how is this at all St. Patrick's Day themed? This is not an Irish wine, even though Murphy is, you know, a name in Ireland. Uh, but let's, Many you know, you guys it. know that during St. Patrick's Day, people make green beer all the time, which is great. If you like beer, it's cool, it's green. You know, I, on the other hand, being the watering blonde wine, I love wine. So uh, I've got my little leprechaun friend here to give us some magic leprechaun dye. Hand that over. Thank you very much, Seamus. All you need is a bottle of wine, white wine, some green uh, food coloring, one drop. Stir it up. Voila. Voila. You've got your green St. Patrick's Day wine. It is fantastic. It doesn't, you know, affect the flavor or the aroma at all. Uh, you know, enjoy it. Have a very happy and safe St. Patrick's Day. Thanks, Seamus. I hope you find a pot of gold.